Just me, Scotty McClue, and a very, very warm welcome tonight to our pop-up. Now, I'm just thinking about the time here. It's coming up to 10 minutes to 10. 10 minutes to 10 on Thursday evening, Thursday, the 2nd of June. How amazing is that? And everybody's joining us. Dinky do. Hello. Hello, Kareem. How lovely to have you with us. The lines should be open, Kareem, if you wanted to come on for a wee chit-chat. And remember to stay on to assault the microphone if you can't hear me. Fantastic. Thank you, do, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say you're watching Scotty McClue on the night of Her Majesty the Queen's Jubilee. And I thought you'd all want a chat. There was some football on last night. And that was a bit strange, I can tell you. But there we are. Uh, we'll see who this is. I think that's uh, our Kareem. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Ah, Kareem, wonderful. Well done for getting through. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? You should be able to get through. The mic's on live. Yes, not a problem. And uh, I could hear him. Could he hear me? Hello, Scotty, can, you, can you hear me? Yes. Y yes, I can, Kareem. Excellent. There we go. That's it. Yeah, we are all <laughs> sorted. All right. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfect, Scotty. Excellent. Wonderful stuff. So we seem to have the microphone working tonight. Good. Yes, you know, always a little gremlin somewhere. Yes, oh, absolutely. That's just uh, working online. But having said that, it's pretty good. Yes, yes. It's no, pretty good. Scotty. Now, how are we tonight? Yeah. I'm not too bad, Scotty. I've enjoyed my first day off. Uh -huh. um, so I've watched little bits of the Jubilee on, on the social media. And I've just relaxed, really. So, not yeah. too bad. Well, <laughs> a lot of good feedback on here. Hi from Wales. Good evening, Sir Scotty. Says the wonderful Geo Dog in South Africa. Robert Skin yes. just says, Good evening, Scotty, and a wonderful Jubilee to Her Majesty the Queen. Yes. Hi, Scotty, says Susan. And good evening, Scotty, says Stevie. So that's rather yes. good, isn't it? Yes. Well, Scotty, there was stuff again on about the, the monarchy earlier on in social yes. media. And I went on to your TikTok and yes. one of your videos that goes through it all explaining everything about the monarchy. I've just cut and pasted that into these uh, comments. Excellent, so Kareem. Yes. Yeah. So... The, and I'll continue to do that now whenever I see something that's very silly. Because that will, that that will tell them something. all about it. And I sent greetings to Her Majesty today on uh, TikTok. And uh, it's yes. up on YouTube as well. Yes. Yeah, you know, and of course, we've got the usual uh, idiots going, you don't speak for me and all that rubbish. We speak for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. No, I, I think, um, I do think, uh, hopefully, as I said, as the build up to the referendum comes, yes. uh, there'll be a lot more of this for people talking about the monarchy or the public as we spoke yesterday. Yeah. But that video, you do explain everything and you go to great detail. So for people to, everything that they've said, you've answered those questions in that video. Uh, Bless you, Kareem. Thank you for that. Because sometimes, as you know, you feel you're, uh, you know, talking to the wall, so to speak. Yeah. Yes, yes, the Queen, a lady of true grace, says Geodog. Hello, Scotty. Sorry I'm late, says uh, the wonderful followers back. And you are cool, says Who's Megan. I think that's lovely. Thank you, Who's Megan. Get sharing, everybody. Get following. Yes. So, uh, I, I've not got much to say tonight, Scotty, at all. It's just really that I wanted to, say, to share with you. That, that video now, I will be sharing that all the time. When Wonderful, I'm Kareem. Call. Thank you for that, because we need to get that out there. And please share the good wishes one made today as well. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, because I think everybody needs to realise where we need to be coming from if we're wanting to be taken seriously as making a bid for independence. Yeah. No, I, I completely agree. We spoke in depth yesterday about all the stuff. That I've, I, I think now is the time to speak. Yeah. Because there's too many people out there that just still don't know. And the problem is that a lot of people don't educate themselves, don't spend the time to go out and research things. You know, they, they, a lot of things about hearsay or, oh, I heard this. So I heard hard. that and I have that. You see, where did you hear that from? Yeah. You see, I'll tell you another thing, Kareem. We've touched on this before. Can I just say hello 
Uh, there's JD Donnelly, Dinky Doo, JD Donnelly, and thank you to CB Gamer for 10 beautiful red roses. Can everybody on TikTok start following Scotty McClue right now and sharing this and looking at the videos and liking and sharing? Very, very important. Now, I've got Kareem on the line here, and we've touched on this before, Kareem, but I think that there needs to be... Um, you know, an actual sea change in understanding of what's happening with the monarchy. Because we do want to be taken seriously. And, you know, it's 50% at least of the vote. Yeah. 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 You know? No, uh, I understand that and I, I accept that. And I've had, friend, I've had arguments with some of my friends who are actual Rangers supporters. Yes. That... They, they, they don't know the facts. I said the Queen will still be the head of state. The Queen will be going nowhere. There's nothing wrong. Ah, oh, but no, there's no hours of work. But the, the, the monarchy has more Scots, Scottish blood than oh, anything else. Huge. So, I mean, absolutely. Uh, Robert the Bruce was was an ancestor. Um, Malcolm the Second was a direct ancestor of the Queen's father. Prince Charles uh, has got Stuart blood in him. You know, I mean, uh, the bloodlines are incredible. The, the the breeding, if you like, for the job. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. it's just huge. You know, and and it's interesting. And a woman today saying all young, all uh, children are created equal. Nobody's arguing with that. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. it's not the equality of the creation. Just because you're born into something doesn't mean uh -huh. you're unequal. Well, it's interesting enough, Scotty, there was a comment someone, like the, the video that I added, what you were saying to, it was somebody that was put the comment that I don't like the monarchy, I don't like the Prince William X, Y, and Z because they've been, they've been born into that and they look down upon people. And no, they and don't. Of course they don't that. look down upon people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, what kind of decent human being would ever look down on anybody? And where are you looking down from this is imagination i mean i can tell you right now you know if you're born into that that's the gig how do you get out of that you look at yeah. harry tried to make a bid to get out you know and you're, you're painted as a, as a yeah. dreadful character and um, edward yeah. the eighth tried to get out uh, painted as a dreadful character and castigated into the wilderness uh, I, I know, I, but I just think people need to remember that you just need to walk around the corner where you stay and there's probably a posh estate and the people there will be looking down at you. You're probably a lot worse. You see, at least the, the royal family are going out and they're, they're giving back to society, they're doing things. Yeah. Whereas you, you go around the corner, these people can give a damn about you. You see, here's a couple of half-wits here. There's Cozy yeah. Loris. If you want the royal family, you can pay for them. Well, we don't need to pay for them. They pay for themselves. And then some. That's the first one. And there's Zach just been daft. Abolish the monarchy. Why? There is no case for the abolition of the monarchy. No case. You know, so it's, it's just a nonsense. These people are just coming from a point of ignorance. Yeah, I think they need to do a wee Google search to find out what are the benefits of the monarchy. Look Absolutely. at what they actually do to the, for each country. And okay, every royal family throughout the world, every um, there's always going to be history about something in the past. Yes, of but course. that's the past. Of course. Don't get me wrong. The British past has been has been far from perfect. But what country has? Well, been no, no country has been perfect because. They're all after extra money, extra territory, you know, wars, the whole lot. None of that is perfect. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you can't, you can't just become a historical revisionist, uh, you know, and say things didn't happen and things didn't happen in the name of the king or the name of the queen. But it's still a first-class system, particularly the modern monarchy that is, you know, fit for the 21st century. Well, could I, could I add, and then if that's the case about people talking about the monarchy and, and the blood pass, let's just say, what you can use the exact same example to the Christian crusade. Yes. How many innocent people were killed in the name of God? Yes. You know, and 
If I say that doesn't seem to be get mentioned, that seems to be forgotten about. Well, oh, that gets happen. that gets forgotten about. You know what I mean? That's that's the whole thing. And you're a hundred percent correct. No system yeah. is perfect. I mean, the Romans, the Romans were dead. they brought to no opposition. Talk about yeah. overindulgence. If you'd been yeah. around in Roman times shouting, abolish the empire, oh, yeah. you'd have had your heat yeah. taken off your shoulders, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> See, there's that not understanding, feed the poor. Well, the monarchy yeah. are feeding the poor. Don't bite the hand that feeds you, Zach. Mm -hmm. Feeding mm -hmm. the poor is political. Get the government on that one. Maybe Zach needs to understand that the money that gets generated by the royal family goes to the government. Yeah, goes and to feeding the poor. It's up to the government then where, where the money goes. So at the end of the day, stop voting Tory, part, Tory government into power and, and we might have a, a fairer society that way. Absolutely, absolutely. Kareem, as always, a joy talking to you. And uh, we'll Thank see dinky-doo, and we'll catch up soon. Excellent, Scott. Have a great night. Bye Bless night. you. Thanks, Kareem. There we are. What a top yeah. man. It's always a top caller, Kareem. You know, absolutely outstanding. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, just approaching my 30th year. Not true, says Cozy. Cozy, of course it's true, or I wouldn't say it. So don't be silly. There we are. Now, what else have we got? Scotty spitting facts, as always. Absolutely, skater boy. And thank you to everybody for all your kindnesses. There, follow us as soon as you can. So there are you. The royal family are self-financing. Get that into your pipe, I say to you. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Thank you, do from the Redoubt family. Thank you, do the Redoubts. Happy Platinum Jubilee, Scotty, from Josh. Thank you, do Josh. There we have it. Now, what do we got here? If Liverpoolians boo the national anthem, surely you should turn down the two extra days bank holiday. Yes, the scousers that booed should be made to work. Morocco loves the Queen. Absolutely. The world loves the Queen. Thank you for my beautiful GG's skater boy. Communists try to tear down history. Of course they do, Vanilla, because it doesn't suit them. Scotty, were you on the Scots Guards? No, I'm not a Scots guardsman. Don't be fooled by the uh, dice on the hat. That would be a different cap. The empire is already dead. Nobody's arguing with that Scottish couple, but the monarchy is very much alive. You're an ambassador to Scotland, says Mustafa. I thank you, Mustafa. Stolen valor, says Insta. How much do the monarchy bring in versus the taxpayer cost? The monarchy, uh, just pre-COVID, brought in well in excess of £2 billion. £2 billion. Pounds. Uh, I think it was £2.2 .2 billion or £2.4 billion. And the taxpayer shells out maximum about £160 million. So it's nothing. The cost of the monarchy is less than a packet of crisps. All right, less than a packet of crisps. Show me the proof. Cozy Loris, the proof is in the pudding. We've had the monarchy for 2,347 years. How much proof are you needing? Okay, cookie. There we are. Fantastic. Good evening, Scotty Joe. How lovely to have you with us. Good evening and fantastic. King of Scotland, says Mustafa. So there we are. Now, because you say it, no, because it's true, Cozy, and because you're talking nonsense, and you need to get the truth sorted. Working class hero John Lennon. That scouse is not always over here, but sadly John Lennon is no longer with us, and he certainly didn't boo at uh, the national anthem. In fact, the Beatles all were MBEs, members of the British Empire. Why are we pretending there's no cost to the taxpayer, so the Scottish couple? Because there isn't the Scottish couple. We're not pretending. We're just making people wake up. Uh, that wouldn't pay the gas bill. J.D. Donnelly, that goes straight to the Exchequer, and then Her Majesty gives you a whack of her income. This is a channel for open discussion, not bio. Come on, discuss. Absolutely, skater boy. Get into these people. I was in Stevenson earlier, Scotty, beside the old bus depot, very derelict. Do you support the monarchy? Oh, everybody supports the monarchy 100% if they're switched on. God save the Queen 
says Jordi. You do. Kareem is sending me lots of lovely TikTok gifts. Right. Uh, the Queen Mother was Scottish, says Thomas. Absolutely. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're well, pal. Thomas, lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you've had a lovely day. And a kiss mm, from the lovely Susan Forrest. Didn't you do? Uh, good evening, Lord McClude. Neil O'Gonley. Good evening, Sir Neil. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Says Jerry. Jerry, lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. Uh, glow tie. Says F document. No, flow tie. I said you first lord of the internet. So there we have it. God save the Queen, says Joe. Absolutely. The wealth has trickled down. The royal family clearly aren't as wealthy as some thinks. Of course, is to them. 700 years after Christ, Scotty. Yes, indeed. Christ comes back. Uh, Scotty, I enjoyed your YouTube post. I thank you, Anton. Are we talking about the old Scottish stuff? Because I'm thinking and doing a lot more on Scottish history. There's uh, the wonderful, the wonderful Halder's Head. Lovely to have you with us. Source of your figures. Scottish couple, you'll get them absolutely anywhere. What does the monarchy bring in? And pre-COVID, they are just about 2.2 billion, 167 maximum uh, to the taxpayers. It's nothing. And also, Her Majesty the Queen and the heir to the throne, the Prince of Wales, they are self-financing through the Duchy of Lancaster and the Duchy of Cornwall. Fantastic, didn't you do? Kareem has become a top viewer. Isn't that beautiful? There we have it. Thank you, Kareem, for all your beautiful, beautiful gifts. Footballs, weights, the lot, GGs. The source of my figures, didn't you do? Well, you make sure that your source agrees with mine. Are there Scottish people in the USA? The USA is almost entirely populated by people of Scottish and Irish descent. Because the Highlands were cleared, remember? So there we have it. Yes, also, your name, Zach. So there we are. Let me see, spelt with, uh, yes, indeed, so there with a C. <laughs> How does I hit? I'm a proud American Scot, absolutely old monkey. There we go. Okay, the new Robert, how lovely to have you with us, dinky do. There we are. Uh, now, the Scottish couple, you're talking absolute bunkum. You're obviously looking on the wrong source. Get your act together. $95 for half a tank of gasoline petrol. Vanilla, where's that in the United States? Well, there's Uncle Joe for you. I think you need the Donald back. There we are. He's from Japan. God save Robert the Bruce. Yes, the Queen is a direct descendant of Robert the Bruce. There we are. What in the name of Squirrel Nuts is going on here, Scotty? We are having a discussion, Alk. Fantastic. Everybody supports the monarchy. Awkward. Well, you might feel awkward, but you need to get supporting the monarchy. If anybody has any genuine interest in independence for Scotland, get supporting the monarchy as much as you possibly can. Can everybody share this on the YouTube, please? It costs the taxpayers $300 million. They bring in about $85 million. No, Cozy Loris, you're completely confused and defunct of knowledge. So there you are. Cost of taxpayers, maximum $167 million. They bring in $2.4 billion. And all that goes direct to the Treasury for the politicians to squander. Now, uh, why have most countries got rid, but we continue if we're right and everyone else is wrong? Because most countries deeply, deeply regret getting rid. That's the whole thing. And America wanted to be a monarchy. There we have it. Dinky do. Fantastic. I'm from Texas County. Thank you, old monkey. There we go. Fantastic. God save Robert the Bruce. Again, another one. They're a Brucean. We like the Bruces from Ayrshire. Uh, don't you agree the monarchy are outdated? Of course they're not outdated, because the main function of the monarchy is as curator and custodian of the crown. Check out my TikTok videos and get following me on TikTok. If you haven't followed Scotty McClure on TikTok, ask yourself what's wrong with you. There we are now. Who have we got here? Uh, fanboy, I like the past shows too. Absolutely good for you. 
And so there, I, the Scottish couple, I didn't find the figures you quoted. Well, keep going until you do. I mean, putting it into a search engine is not research. My research has been done over 50 years, reading and reading. You are the best of Scotland, says Mustafa. Mustafa, I thank you, sir. I salute you. Fantastic. Uh, what do you want for Christmas? Uh, my two front teeth. God save the Queen, says Cammy. Cammy, I thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Gasoline, you're no American, you fruitcake. What are you doing tomorrow to celebrate the Queen? I think what I might do is go live earlier in the day and do a special Scotty McClue special program on the royal family. Uh, it used to be on all the time, every show. Can you give a reason for Martin disappearing? Yes, F document. Martin has got his own show now, and he's a DJ. Uh, good morning, Scotty. Dink you do from Australia. How's the first lord of the internet? Lovely to have you with us, Frank. Frank Mayer. What's the hat, Scotty? That's the Glen Gary. So there you are, the Glen Gary. So there we go. We'll have that on tomorrow. Uh, fantastic stuff. 26 busloads of tourists a day to London. Uh, Her Royal Highness the Queen does not want Scotland to leave from the UK. It's not Her Royal Highness the Queen, it's Her Majesty the Queen. And no, she doesn't want Scotland to leave the UK, but I think if she realises that Scotland is 100% behind the monarchy, then that might change things. So the Scots need to get their act together. There we are, $4.27 gasoline in my town in Mississippi, says Vanilla. Uh, hello from a para. We love you, para. Loan 39. Dinky do. Uh, is on the champagne. Are you, Chris? Scotty, what's your thoughts on big Maggie Thatcher? I don't think she was that big, was she? I wasn't a great fan of her policies. She sucked the life out of Scotland and the north of England. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, oh, Scotty. So there we are. Dinky do. Hello, Scotty, from the good old USA. I think you're going to get uh, Trump back. There's some lovely Scottish names. Uh, for Hader, McDonald, McIntyre, McIntosh, McKinley, McDonald, and McMaster. Well, of course, Mac just means son of. So there we are, dinky do. I'm finding nothing to support your figures. Uh, you haven't named your source. You don't need to Scottish couple. You keep going. Morning from Auckland. We love you in Auckland. I had family in Mata Mata. And uh, just tremendous stuff. Guys, can you get following me on the TikTok and get sharing as soon as you can? Subscribe on the YouTube, guys. 2.15 a litre for petrol in Australia. Is that $2, Frank? We're about um, 180. We're almost two pounds on the motorway for uh, for a litre. Two, two GBPs. Great British pounds. Hello, hello, Mr. Scotty McClue. Pinky dinky do. We're not having a discussion. You're being rude to people without providing a source. Scottish couple, I don't need to provide a source. The monarchy are the source. They bring the money in. They've been around in Scotland for 2,347 years. There's no case for the monarchy to go. They don't have to be justified. Her Majesty has justified herself. They are self-financing, and we cover a bit of security. I'll be in Edinburgh on the 18th, says Sean Star. There we are, dinky do. Uh, so we're not being rude, Scottish couple. We're just explaining that people need to waken up. They need to be wakened up. I'm not a stupid person. I can fact check. Well, you obviously haven't checked your facts, or you wouldn't be giving me Duff Jen. So you must be not terribly bright. Don't agree, but I like you, Scotty. At least you speak your mind. Chris, of course we have to speak our mind. You know, where people aren't listening to McClue, ignorance could take grip. Yes, indeed. Maggie Thatcher was our last great prime minister. Uh, yes, what did she do that was so great, streaky bacon? Uh, yes, $2.15. Wow, Frank. Interesting stuff. Now, uh, ain't that deep bro, says JJ. Yes, indeed. You're doing this annoying that thing where you just scream source. Yes, quite right, skater boy. We're getting fed up with him. There we are. He needs to do his research. Abolish the monarchy. Zach, why on earth would you ever do that? 
make a case for doing that. There we are, fantastic. Uh, now, who have we got here? Um, go and show the proof it's not the case. You find it quite right, skater boy. Uh, I like the Dutch royal family. They go out on their bikes. Yes, I mean, I think probably you'll find that Prince Charles goes on his bike. I'm sure I saw him in one the other day. Uh, when is it addressed, Your Royal Highness or Your Majesty? Only the monarch is Your Majesty. So the Queen, or if it was the King, it's Your Majesty. Yes? Whereas her son is uh, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. Yes? And her husband was His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh. So that's what you'd have. So only the Queen is Her Majesty. And uh, there we go. Speak for yourself, Scotty. I can't support evil old women. Sparky boy, what could possibly be evil? She can't do anything about her age. Well, there's certainly nothing evil. So I'm not speaking for myself. I'm speaking for the people of the world who are switched on. That's who I'm speaking for. There we are. Binley Mega Chippy. Absolutely pudding. There we are. Now, what have we got? Sammy says... Are you, and he asks if I'm drunk. No, Sammy, you mustn't assume everybody has your lifestyle. Some of us don't drink. There we are. Hello from uh, Alberca in New Mexico. Usually respect Scottish views, but no respect for being derogatory to the views of others. Well, Scottish couple, we're not being derogatory. You haven't put a view yet. You've just screamed that you don't understand the figures. We can't help you there. Thatcher's statue was damaged within hours have been put up. Not surprising. Well, why, though, would you damage a statue, Colerio? You know, I mean, there was talk of a statue of Scotty McClure in Scotland, and I don't think that would be damaged ever. Uh, but having said that, I think you need to be dead to get a statue these days. Hello from the Orkneys. Ah, Kamraha, ooh, ha, Sammy. I'm very close to you right now. I'm from Texas. How beautiful it is that. 12 million to our son's victim. Well, we don't know if it was a victim. And there's people sleeping in the streets. The 12 million was a very low cost to save upstaging Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee. There's absolutely no evidence of any wrongdoing. So there we have it. Uh, now, what have we got here? And the people sleeping in the streets would be no better off whether the 12 million had been paid or not. This is where people like you, you actually make my blood boil because you don't realize stuff comes out of different budgets. Why don't you say £250 billion for Brexit and those people sleeping in the streets? Give us that. That's a better argument. There we are. Hello, Mr. McLeod. Good evening. Dinky do. Fit, fit like everybody. Thoughts on the 12th of July. Well, uh, I don't know that we need to be doing a thing on the 12th of July. There we are. I think we could acknowledge we might have a wee bit of chat or something, but there's certainly no need for any marches. Scotty, I hope you've been enjoying the Jubilee. Oh, wonky pint. Outstanding. There we are. Now, who have we got here? Still waiting for the host to provide proof. Scottish couple, get it into your head. There is no requirement to provide proof. The requirement is for you to provide disproof. All right? Strathclyde University, what are you talking about, says Rosie Boy? Rosie Boy, we talk about everything on here. This is an outstanding program filled with outstanding people. Guys, get following me on TikTok. Scotty, whatever happened to the old guy you used to call and play his harmonica when you were on Nation Radio? Hey, Hamish from the drum. Hopefully he is well and will find us, will discover us and come on and play the mythy. Maggie took back the Falklands. Well, that's true, Streaky. Yes, indeed, but at what cost? Amazing, the United States has oil everywhere, but the Liberals decided to shut down the production. Well, Vanilla, I think you need the Donald back. And I think you'll get the Donald back to make America great again and get the price of gas down to a, an affordable level. Uh, there we have it. Edinburgh University we love. Who are you, laddie? I, John Fremoffitt, think you do. I'm a Tory. Maggie did a good job, says Rossi Boy. Do you think so? Did she do a good job for the mines? 
that you do a good job for the steel industry. Yes, that you do a good job for Scotland. That you do a good job for the north of England. That you do a good job for Sheffield and for Barnsley and for Liverpool and for Manchester. Did she do a good job for them? Uh, no, nah, it's not worth looking for a needle in a haystack. Scottish couple, it's the very first thing that comes up in your search engine. The Royals bring us in two billion pounds. Uh, play the bagpipes. Freedom, Maguire. Are you an SNP supporter? No, Rossi boy, I'm apolitical. But I do feel that economically, Scotland could do very well as an independent nation. Because it always has independent, apart from the uh, the last uh, the monarchy of the source. Absolutely, well, no, the monarchy of the evidence, the sources, every switched on newspaper. There we have it, and I'm the source, and you'll not get a better source than Scotty McClure. I can't tell you, Scottish and proud. Same with Boris Johnson. Catch you later, absolutely, the Scottish couple. And get your act together before you come on here. Uh, that Scottish couple, you wanted a source five, six times. Come on now, skater boy. He needs to go doing his research. He doesn't understand research. Prince Charlie, dinky do, yes, Sparky. Well, I wouldn't say best pal. I think there was a few people who were best pal. There we go. Love the Glengarry meet. Only wore the Royal Regiment of Scotland on mine. Ah, yes, indeed, the Royal Regiment of Scotland. But I miss the old Scottish regiments. What about the Argyles? The Argyle and Southern Highlanders. The old 93rd Sutherland Highlanders. The Black Watch. The Gordon Highlanders. The Queen's Own Cameron Highlanders. The Seaforth. The Seaforth Highlanders. The Highland Light Infantry, the Royal Scots Fusiliers, the Royal Scots, the Scots Guards, the King's Own Scottish Borderers, the Border Regiment. You know, I mean, where are all these wonderful people? Thatcher's my hero, says Rossi Boy. Of course, Rossi Boy. No one's been rude to you and asking for your sauce. Factual Sharud reflects badly on you. I've never, ever been rude in my life. I've only told the truth that you need to get your act together. That's not rude. That's something you need to address. So there you have it. And it reflects badly on you, your ignorance. It shocks me, actually. You're not so bright. There's no need for that. And not so bright. An IQ of uh, 100 and, uh, what was it, 164, I think, the last one. That's pretty bright, isn't it? A couple of degrees. 30 years uh, on uh, radio. Uh, almost 40 years on television. I don't know. What's bright to you? So there we are. Paying our son's victims. How do you know victim? How can you use the word victim when there's no proof? There we are. Uh, that Scottish couple, this mad geezer, has no clue what he's saying. Don't say something if you can't, says old monkey. And uh, there we are. I would damage that statue, says Zach. I was Zach. I mean, you damage yourself, you. There we are. We'll pull it down. Hello, I'm from America. I'm Irish and Scottish descent. Who damaged a statue? Somebody had egged Margaret Thatcher. Now, Lee. Lee, this is outstanding. Lee has said to us, Nemo me impun la kesset, the motto of the Scottish crown which took over the English crown in 1603. So the monarchy is effectively a Scottish institution, and the Scots need to get 100% behind their own. Nemo me impun la cassette is the message I would send to the halfwits. And that means, Wa dor meadow we me. Nobody attacks me with impunity. There you have it. Well done. Good to see the Queen on the balcony today. Excellent, Danny. Nemo me and Punla Kesset. How's you? Says Sandy. Sandy Black. There we are. And what have we got here? Yes, big man. I was here a while ago. How many pillows do you sleep with? Two chicken, two. Uh, have a dinky do, Jubilee, sir. Dinky do. Nemo me and Punla Kesset. Yes, we've got it. God bless the Queen. Fantastic stuff. 
Thoughts on the IRA? Well, there's no point in talking about the IRA. They're very much passe. I know there's a few thugs up some of the schemes, but, uh, you know, the IRA made a massive, massive, massive mistake uh, with Lord Mountbatten, and that split them right down the middle. And that was effectively the end of the IRA. There we are. And there's no point to them. Sandy, big love to you, Scotty. Thank you, Sweetin. Clever man like yourself just became a top viewer. Sweetin sends me beautiful red roses. So there we go. Now, what do we got here? Scotty boy, we John boy from Port Glasgow. John boy, we love you in Port Glasgow. And love to you and all the Portonians. Did you like the wee show I did for you on Port Glasgow? There we are. Nemo me and Pune Lakesha explain the meaning. I've just done it, uh, Mr. Lee. It means uh, nobody attacks me with impunity or what or meadow we me in broad Scots, breed Scots. Hello, you adorable friend, said Sydney. How lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Uh, Chicken Tika, you're beginning to, uh, what you're doing now is spamming. I don't want to ban you for life. But you'll need to stop spamming. There we are. In fact, I think we'll maybe have to ban them for life, guys. The Highlands of Scotland, the beautiful Scots Brigade. Have you got your kilt on? Well, said Sydney, not tonight. Uh, there we are. A loyalist. Well, everybody's a loyalist. Scott, you don't need to justify yourself. You have the facts. They don't. Kareem, 100% correct. Scotty McClure. James, lovely to have you with us. Scotty for president of an independent Scotland. Yes, would you vote for me as the president of an independent Scotland? Fantastic stuff. The Young Danoon team we love. The Young Danoon team we love Danoon. There we are, dinky do. Scotty, you're a clever man. Uh, would you pay 12 million if you weren't guilty? Uh, yes, if my mother was celebrating 70 years on the throne of the United Kingdom and the head of the Commonwealth, and um, it was going to be a thorn in our side, and it was going to distract, then I think you probably pay up, you know, and that's that. So, yes, uh, absolutely, you know, and then you could fight whether you're guilty or not afterwards, uh, you know, but you just have to stop the old clapper tongue. Uh, the sources out there showing the figures just use the web. It's not rocket science. Absolutely, G. As I said at my NASA interview when they said, what do you think the job's about, Scotty? I said, well, <laughs> it's not rocket science, is it, you know? Uh, do you mean and die defense? God me defend for the Scottish crown. Was Nemo not the 42nd foot? No, Nemo me and Pune La Kesset, I think, um, is the motto for the Scottish crown. What door medal we me? There you are. You're looking great, Scotty. I thank you, said Sydney. Dinky you do. Used to love listening to you on Hallam FM. A few years back, Scotty, Dean Fraz was Hallam FM, not just a station and a half. I loved it. How are you, Scotty? Jesus loves you. I believe that ticker tocker. Get one of Macron's prized thoroughbreds as a jubilee gift. Does the name McLeod exist? Oh, very much so. Not always that spelling, but very much so. I had vote for you any day. I thank you, Hads. Old Hadder. There we are. Who have we got here? United Ireland. Do you think so, Diesel? Would you be happy to pick up the tab for, uh, for Northern Ireland? There we are. You decide regimental motto. Kevin, yes, I believe it is a regimental motto. Uh, as well. Far out, Scotty. We all of you on it. Absolutely. Uh, so there you go. Rocky Road. Tremendous stuff. Now, what do we got here? Uh, hi, Kareem. How are you? Says Susan. Uh, Maggie took back the Falklands at what cost? At any cost, says Streaky Bacon. Streaky Bacon. What are you thinking? Guys, I'm just having a quick meltdown. Woo! Because it is quite warm. In the old studio tonight. There we are. I'm in my short sleeves. And uh, it's really warm. I mind uh, having a few years back. Yes, absolutely. We used to go on there and dinky-do. Thank you, old monkey. Uh, ground skippers. Yes, indeed. 
Uh, brilliant show tonight, Scotty, says Joe. Joe, it's a fantastic show tonight. I mean, we have so many brilliant people come on here and the odd half-wit just into the mix. Can you tell a joke, e Whitty? You know I don't tell jokes. I phoned the doctor. I said, I want to get fit. He said, okay, run five miles a day for five days. I phoned him on the Friday. I said, you've got to help me. I'm 25 miles from the house. Who's sending me beautiful gifts on here? Absolutely, Zach. Now then, who have we got here? GG15, skater boy. You beautiful TikTokers are so generous to me. And the YouTubers tapping the dollar sign at the bottom of the super chat. Just wonderful. I bless you. Uh, there we are. Indy for Scotland says Andrew. Andrew, you've got a very fair point, but they need to embrace the monarchy first. Step one, embrace the monarchy. Can everybody on TikTok follow Scotty McClue? Do it now. Pop up to the top left, click the plus sign, and follow the host. Uh, Scotty, do you remember me telling you live in here? Probably. You've kept us entertained for a good while, Scotty. You deserve the love, dude. Bless you. 30 years this month. 30 years in three weeks, and today is the third anniversary of the death of my dear big friend, John Myers. John passed away very suddenly from a heart attack. Uh, when he was playing golf three years ago today, and I send love to his lovely family, and we give thanks for John's life. And so there we are, wonderful guy. Uh, they can keep them south of the border, Andrew. No, 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 do you still have a radio station? Campbell, I don't have one at the moment, but we'll maybe be getting one. You can't even buy booze after 10 p.m. in Scotland. SNP dictatorship, Rocky Road. Why would you want booze after 10 p.m.? You know what I mean? It's a piece of nonsense. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Well, this is interesting. Uh, Skater boy for John. For John, thank you very much. There we are. What's your hat called? The hat is a Glengarry. 700 Glengarry men. The call came sweeping down the glen. Dinner, stare and stand. Get your rifle in your hand. The Argyles are moving again. Fantastic. Catch yourself on. Absolutely, Mr. Happy. Tell them to catch themselves on. You could give detailed explanations to all the best questions. Well, we do, Chris. Absolutely. I mean, let's have a Q&A right now. Guys, get following. You're watching TikTok. You're watching YouTube. You're watching Facebook. You're watching Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue. Have you followed Scotty McClue? Ask yourself the question on TikTok, have I followed? Have I followed? And if you haven't, get following. It's the right thing to do. There we have it. Now, who else have we got here? Scots are happy to be tell what to do and when to do it. Rocky Road, everybody is. Good night, Scotty. Joe. Take great care of your dear self and dinky do. Uh, the wonderful Joe McLaughlin there. Fantastic stuff. Are you in a pipe band? Uh, no, I don't play the pipes, but my father was a wonderful piper and he was in two pipe bands. So there we have it. He was in the Queen's Own Cameron Highlanders and he was in the Dunrod Pipe Band. There we are. That's a lot of socials. Oh, we're huge. Duke Scotty McClue is known to 2 billion people worldwide, for goodness sake. Follow us as soon as you can. White Mist, thank you for being a thoroughly decent human being and following Scotty McClue, big style, on TikTok. That's what it's all about, I say. So there we are. Streaky Bacon, were you in the army, Scotty? Well, I don't go into that, you see. There we are. An orange man's history. No, no, just a bit pink, I think. Uh, you know, if I put some makeup on, I would look more like an orange man. So there we are. He liked piping. Yes, indeed. TikTok's about supporting other creators. Don't you believe in that? What mentalist? I believe in that 100%. And I have supported so many creators on here. 
it's even difficult. The list is massive. Morning, the Duke of Dundee. I think I'm known as an influencer on here, but I don't know if I've got a blue tick yet. I'm on the BBC now, lighting beacons on Hadrian's Wall to keep us out, Scottish Knight. It's not to keep you out at all. You're welcome south of the border any time you like. So there we have it. It's wonderful. Now here we got heightened sense of self-importance, says one medalist. Have you got, why have you got that though? You need to check yourself out there because what maybe is the case, uh, you know, word mentalist, is that you're bordering on narcissism because that can be responsible for a heightened sense of self-importance. Get that checked out, though, that, you know. Get to the shrink, I say. Scotty McClure hasn't got a clue. Geordie boy, what a play on words. Uh, so there we are, Scotty McClure has got a huge clue about so much for you, saying dinky-doo. There we have us, so never underestimate Scotty McClure. And the Queen's 70th Jubilee, Scottish Knight. Yes, indeed. So there we are. Uh, you went from a following of 90 people to zero people. Now, remember, that's not how it works. We have a massive, massive, massive following. And you'll find that thousands have partaken in tonight's show across the platforms. You'll see, wakey, wakey. Uh, what message is that sending to Scotland, Scottish Knight? Well, I think the message is uh, that you'll be able to see the beacons from Adrian's Wall. Are you wearing a tinfoil hat? I think somebody who doesn't follow us, the, no, I don't think so, Mud Mentalist. I think you've maybe, what you're doing is called classic projection. So you've got a problem with narcissism and you're trying to project it onto others, including me. Not happening, la la. So there you are. If you don't want to follow, don't follow. Uh, up to our knees and roasted cheese. Aha, good comeback. There you go, Johnny boy. You're 90 on the list and remove them all. Um, no, I think probably we were just um, having to refresh the list. Uh, no, you were following 90. No, you're not. Is that hard to understand? Well, it is for you, what mentalist, obviously, yes. Uh, yes, very bright and easy to see if I look, Scotty. Yes, Scottish Knight, excellent stuff. Now, there we are. Who have we got here? Hang on. We'll just block this character. Wonderful. Block, 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 block. We've got a loony on, guys. Uh, so I do apologize. And we're just getting rid of that. Get some filth on here. It needs to be sent in the Swanee. Are we down the Swanee? Nearly has gone. Half wit. <coughs> there we are. Only lasted a second or two. There we are. And we'll just add to the block list in the chat as well so we don't get it back. Fantastic. Right, that should be okay, Neil. I think most of that's gone. Uh, there might be one. Yes, it's just saying he was blocked. Half wit. There we are. Sup McClue. Ah, General Sup, we call it. We don't just say Sup, we say General Sup. And everybody has a General Sup. Mm. 3,400 likes tonight, guys. Thank you very much. And so lovely to have you with us. Remember me, Big Ron. Yes, Big Ron. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do I say. Scotty doesn't have a clue, says what mentalist. No, what mentalist, remember, because you've got a tiny, tiny IQ, you can't understand a word I'm saying. Would you not be better just getting your coloring in book and finishing that off? Or what about your two piece jigsaw and you can refer to the instructions? See if you can finish it tonight. Just because you're not bright, what mentalists doesn't mean you have to cheek up to others. LMA also is Rocky Road. There are people who see you for what you are. Well, what mentalist? These poor souls. Yes, indeed. And uh, are they in a clinic? There you are. He's done you in, what mentalist? So there you go. Absolutely, what mentalist? You know, I mean, I can understand where what mentalist is coming from. I was like that when I had my first pint as well. 
So do you know what I'm, I'm saying? You know, it, he'll get used to it. There we are. Mother's ruin in that glass, not water, old oh, Big Ron. No, we don't drink the alcohol, Big Ron. Fantastic. That's bad, Neil. It's bad, Susan, but it's gone. Isn't it just Susan? Absolute filth. Uh, well, he's gone, though. You shouldn't be able to see that now. Has it gone, Neil? Fantastic. Thank you. Everybody's joining us as soon as you can. Follow us, guys. Do you think you're smart, mate, wearing a hat? So there we are. Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Very, very smart. In fact, everybody's told me just how smart I look tonight. So there we go. So that's wonderful. Scotty is uh, what mentalist. Don't be cheeky. Now we'll get rid of you. Guys, should what mentalist be sent down the swanee? You don't support anyone but yourself. Well, what mentalist? I've supported you, and you shouldn't bite the hand that feeds you. That's what I say to you. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Too many numpties on tonight, Scotty, but I always like when we educate them. Oh, Kareem. One man says, don't be cheeky. Are you kidding? All you do is insult people. What mentalist? I think you should check your medication because I think you're getting oversensitive. And that is another thing about narcissism. So I'm told. There we are. Now, nah, mate, block away. Do you think so, what mentalist? Well, we'll leave you up just now. And you can maybe take yourself away because you're not bringing anything to the party. Very smart, Flo Tai. I thank you very much, Mbongo. Lovely to have you with us, and think you do. There's no need for that on here. You're quite right, Neil. Uh, just the message is deleted, Scotty. You still see the profile. You still see the profile. Wait, I wonder if we get rid of that. Hang on. Let's just see what goes on here. Um, There we go. Fantastic. It doesn't matter. That will disappear very soon uh, anyway, Neil. I just apologize for the half What's getting on. Listen, Neil Scotty, uh, are you wanting a Turkish shave? Well, no, because I think, do you not set things on fire and all that stuff? <laughs> Sounds quite nice. You do the hot tubs. Uh, I'm the only sane person in Airdrie, says Scottish Knight. Well, Scottish Knight, what does that say about the good burgers of Airdrie? I say to you, my goodness me. Who else have we got with us? Um, lots and lots of people. Thank you, Neil. That's appreciated. And again, I apologize. There's British drummer giving it God Save the Queen. What's the hat, Scotty? That's the Glengarry. There we are, worn by a lot of the Scottish regiments. Fantastic. There's the wonderful Doogie sharing the video. Thank you, Dukes. That's absolutely brilliant. Three and a half thousand likes, guys. Can you get following Scotty McClue? Before we go off tonight, we've got about another seven minutes. So could everybody watching on uh, TikTok subscribe to Scotty McClue? Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, CD. CD R. Murphy, what a top, top, top person. A wonderful human being for following Scotty McClue. There we are. There's Jeff. There's uh, Caris. Caris, what a lovely name. We like that. Neil, I'm very glad you're with us. Um, what about the future? Uh, we bring a lot more. Check out all the TikTok videos. Look at the ones of Scottish history. <coughs> Pardon me. And tell me if you, uh, my mate Gary Glenn wore a Glenn Gary. Isn't that lovely? Fantastic. So there we have it. Uh, there you are. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Katie. I'll give you a mention, guys, as soon as you follow, if it comes up here. Black tapers in the back must be ironed. The history of it, please. Ah, well, the history. I won't go into the history, but it's a fascinating, fascinating History. Yeah, you know, absolutely fascinating. Dinky do, Scotty by Robert Simpson. Dinky do to your lovely time with us. Davy has just followed us. Guys, if you can follow as soon as you can, Davy0495 has followed Dinky do, bro. Dinky do to you, Robert. Lovely to have you with us. Are you Irish? says Mr. Angry. 
Uh, no, sadly, well, we're all Irish to a greater or lesser extent. Let's put it that way. My gym jams are the same colour as your cap, Scotty. Very smart, streaky. Hey, Scotty. Hey, George. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky, do I say to you? There we are. I'm originally from Scotland. Lovely Katie. Welcome, welcome, welcome to TikTok's Top Talk Show with me, Scotty McClue. The Thin Red Line, absolutely Scottish night. At the Battle of Balaclava, am I correct or am I correct? Let's be honest, 99% of the world's population has at least one Irish ancestor. Well, we've all got Irish ancestors. We were all originally black from the African Rift Valley in East Africa. On the Gary, ah yes, the River Gary. I don't know, but you remind me of a Scottish David Attenborough. Nothing is stirring on the frozen landscape. Then we see a slight movement. It's the one occupant of this forgotten tundra, the Arctic fox. Any good? Any good as an impressionism, I ask you. So there we have it. Do tell, yes, sir, I'm an ex-Argyle. I salute you, Scottish knight. Roughly what age are you? Uh, just roughly. You know, you just have to give us a rough age. Uh, so there we are. Black tapers in the back to hold back the hair from the gunpowder. Catching the air when firing. Lee, Lee, are you not just amazing? Fantastic. The Scots don't like the English. No, Mr. Angry, the Scots don't like the English. They love the English. And I've worked in England a lot of my career south of the border. A lot of work in London, Sheffield, Manchester, Leeds, Hull, Newcastle, Carlisle. You know, fantastic stuff. And I would say the Scots adore the English. There we are. They're not so keen on being run from Westminster. You're brilliant, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha. Jordy boy, dinky do. That's a lie, says a British drummer. Good. Good for you, British drummer. You are a top man. That was magic, big man. Scotty, I'll say good night. God bless and speak tomorrow. God save the Queen. Kareem, God save the Queen, sir. I salute you. And thank you for your wonderful input to Scotty McClue live on Jubilee night. This has just been an absolute privilege and a joy to be with so many wonderful people. Guys, everybody get following as soon as you can. I need, uh, we've got, Oh, my goodness, we've got two minutes left, uh, or one minute. So there we are. Everybody's going. Good night, Scotty and Kareem. Sleep well. Susan, good night. God bless. George Anderson, dinky do Scotty, dinky Scotty. Uh, and I'll say good night to every single one of you. What a fantastic program tonight, guys. I mean, this is just absolute bliss. There we are. See how many can follow me in the next 30 seconds. That would be wonderful. So we've got 30 seconds of the show left get following scotty mcclue on the tiktok get subscribing to scotty mcclue on the youtube channel and i will upload videos tonight before the night is out i can tell you so god save the queen i say regardless of your background 43 scotty i've no heard you in 25 years mave acoustic what a privilege and a joy to have you with us we're gonna have to dash the english are brand new it's just the parliament we hate, bro. Well, we don't hate. We just don't want run by it. Where can I get the infectious laugh you used to? <laughs> Fantastic. English really nice. The only reason some Scots don't like it is because they are prideful. British drummer. What an interesting thought. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. Don't say I don't love you. To our beautiful TikTokers. Good night. God bless. Dinky do. And ta -da -las! Those are TikTokers on the way, guys. We salute them. How wonderful is that? Dinky do to every single one of you. Beautiful, beautiful TikTokers. Lovely, lovely people. There we are. TT, ta ta, Lily Patterson. What a privilege to have you on. Good night, Scotty. This is the wonderful Jason Connolly. Good night, Jason. I salute you, sir. I salute you all. 
This is Scotty McClure saying thank you for watching. Join us during the day tomorrow. We'll be up at some point, and we want to see every single one of you there. Until then, have a lovely, lovely night. Take great care of your dear selves. Stay fabulous. Dinky-doo. And as we say in the best of circles, stick out your tongue and say ta-ta, ta-ta, ta-ta.